I went to a gun show. Uh, not because not I'm into the shit or anything. I, I was in Florida, and I, I figured I'd learn about the culture. <laughs> and, uh, I, I, I went, and I'm sorry to all my, my liberal friends in the room. They were very nice to me. The moment I walked in, this woman, she handed me a free pocket constitution. And I was surprised she could read. And she <laughs> <told> me, <laughs> She pulled me to the side, like she was telling me a secret, and she was like, did you know, did you know, they don't even teach kids about the Second Amendment in schools anymore. Mm -hmm. And I was like, don't you think they're getting enough hands-on experience? <laughs> <laughs> Which, listen, that's not what I said. Because I was scared to be there. I was scared some crazy motherfucker was gonna show up to the gun show just like shooting up the place. But then I was like, wait a second, don't be stupid enough to even try that because everyone here has a gun. Maybe there'd be no more mass shootings if everyone had a... I have to get the fuck out of Florida right now. What did I just say? I was a Bernie Sanders fan. And, and, and my dad, he... You say womp womp? Oh, you fucked with a Bernie bro. Get ready, motherfucker. I'm gonna destroy you on Twitter tonight. Mark my words. Who, who are you a fan of? You look like you're just a fan of Axis, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> Axis and fire hoses and a fire truck. What do you do for work? Work for a nonprofit. What? Okay. <laughs> Give me some fucking details. What am I supposed to do with that shit? What, what is the nonprofit? So I'm the Indiana State representative for the National Rifle Association. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna perform the rest of my show kind of lower down here between these two people. Listen, listen, listen. I, I, I will be honest with you because I, I, I make no, I make no, uh, I, I don't want to lie about it. I, I don't actually know like anything about guns. I, I could not tell you the difference. I couldn't tell you the difference between an AR-15 or an M16 or an AK-47 because that's your LGBTQIA team box, you know? Good for you, but keep it away from children, please. Ask his friend what he does. What is it gonna be? Like, I work for ExxonMobil, motherfucker. I, it's worse? What do you do for work? Okay. I don't know enough about politics to give a shit about that. I mean, I don't know if Indianapolis is changing the national conversation at all. Just, just to be clear, I am, as, as, to get all my views on the table, I'm a, I'm a trans ally, of course. <laughs> Not applause from everybody, I'll tell you that right now. There's a guy. He's kind of a friend of mine. He just moved to New York City from Oklahoma. He's in an acting class with me that I take sometimes. And he, he's one of these guys, he, he complains. He's like, oh, trans people want too much. Trans people are too sensitive. Trans people want too much. And it's frustrating because he's in this acting class. And, and, and I'm pretty sure the only trans person he really knows is this one trans woman in our acting class. And she's a bitch. <laughs> and I'm trying to explain to him, you're not anti-trans rights, you're anti-Daphne's rights. And that is a cause the whole country could get behind. Because whether you're cis or, or, or straight, uh, cis or trans, gay or straight, Republican, Democrat, Daphne's a cunt, all right? <laughs> We're all going blue after this, I feel. I feel like I've swayed the whole room. We're gonna... Oh my god. No, I don't I don't think I don't think it's I don't think it's comedy's job to convince people of anything. I think it's just our job to show you that you're full of shit. That's all I can do. I can just point to where the shit is and it's up to you to take care of it if you want to or not. 
fuck are you at this show? I don't even understand. Like, did you do, did you do any research on me at all? It doesn't make any sense. I have, I have like, I have, I have Indianapolis's whole government here at this table. You know, why don't, don't, don't worry about trans people. Worry about fixing your fucking mall. That's the worst mall I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, dear Christ almighty, I went to get a smoothie. They said, we're out of fruit. They closed the fucking store. They should film zombie movies at this mall. It is the worst mall I've ever seen in my... What is going on, governor or senator or whatever the fuck you are? What is going on with the mall? Where is the fruit? I just want a smoothie. Why does the Starbucks close at 3 p.m.? That's insane. I need coffee after 3 p.m. This is a, this is a very tiring job. Yo, you, you guys have been sports? Yes. What's, 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 what's your name? Josh. Okay. <laughs> I can be a good sport, Josh. Uh, let's shake your hand, Josh. Thank you for being here. You know, I gotta tell you, this, this is the thing. I'm so glad COVID is, is over. I'm so sick of washing my hands every time I shit. It is... <laughs> That trigger finger is going to be a little smelly. <laughs> <laughs>